on the landing page, there is the possibility to perform a system check with the button, Get a free system check now. Enter the email address you use to purchase the ticket and click Enter. The login code will be sent to your email address immediately. Now, enter the four-digit number from this email in our login window to join the ITB Berlin Now platform and activate your profile. After successful login, you will be taken directly to your personal profile. Fill out all mandatory fields here. We recommend a well-maintained profile, as this is your digital face at ITB Berlin now in the first step. Please make sure that your picture format is suitable. Should you wish to add or to change the information in your profile later, you can access your profile editor area at any time via your profile, top right, the small pencil. The integrated audio camera check will help you to choose the right camera and set the microphone so that both in audio video rooms and chats the usage works properly. We recommend a neutral background in your environment for video calls and please make sure your camera is not used in other applications. The platform is divided into three sections. On the left, you'll find the navigation bar, which you can use to navigate through the content area in the center. On the right, you'll find the communication center. The communication center is an always-on module where all your communication with other participants takes place. It can be folded in and out at any time, here you will find the tabs People, Chat, Schedule, Notifications, and your own profile. Under People Networking, you will find all participants, exhibitors, speakers, and visitors of ITB Berlin Now. The full text search under Search People offers you the possibility to search for a specific person. Behind the name of each person, there are three interaction points which offer further functionalities to interact with the corresponding contact. This menu offers the following options. The connect function you can use to link to contacts. With the share function, you can send profiles to other participants. In case of dislike, you can block contacts. With an already existing contact, you can download the vCard. The requests in the people tab refer to connection requests already made between people. Here you will find above the people who want to connect with you and those with whom you want to connect or to whom you have sent a contact request. In this overview, you can see both the requests you have received from other people and the requests you have sent. Here, in the requests already sent to you, you can react directly to the request by accepting it or rejecting it. If you accept them, the respective persons will appear in the list of your contacts. The contact list is thus the list of people with whom you have already exchanged virtual business cards. You can download your individual contacts or their contact data from here individually as a vCard via the Context menu, or export the entire contact list for insertion into your personal address book, for example. A full text search is also available here which is useful if you have a long list of contacts. If you want to start chatting with a contact, you can initiate this directly in the interaction menu, as already mentioned. The chat window will open, and you can start the chat directly. In the Chat tab, you will find an overview of all your individual and group chats. You can use the search function to find people and start a chat. You start a group chat as follows. You click on New Group, set a group name, choose a description, and add up to 14 more participants, and start the chat. The group chat has its own interaction menu, just like the individual chat. 
This is your personal calendar. Here you have the overview of confirmed, requested, and declined meetings. Meeting requests appear in the tab Requests, which you can accept or reject, whereby the accepted ones end up in the tab Confirmed and the rejected ones in the tab Declined. You can schedule a new meeting yourself, as well as download agreed ones to transfer them to your own calendar. In order to schedule a new meeting yourself, click on Schedule a meeting, enter a title, select the date, start and end time, and set the time zone in which the chosen meeting takes place. Add the desired participants. The respective time zone and availability of each invited participant will appear. Now, optionally add a note and click on Send Invitation. It will appear directly under Confirmed Meetings. You can see the status of each participant in the meeting. The context menu of a meeting offers you the possibility to view and edit the appointment, accept it, cancel it, or in case it has already been confirmed, join the appointment via video chat and start a group chat with the participants. If you want to block your calendar for certain times to appear as busy, for example, for your lunch break or other unavailabilities, we recommend scheduling a meeting with yourself for the respective time span. In the Notifications tab, you find the Do Not Disturb function and an overview of the notifications of all requests, calls, and meetings, as well as all events. With the Do Not Disturb function, you have the possibility to mute the network regarding notifications or messages for you, while at the same time, the full usability of the platform is guaranteed. If this function is active, you will not be called and you will not receive any notifications, for example, if you are watching a content session you want to concentrate on. At times when you are not actively logged into the platform, you will receive email notifications for missed messages. In the Communication Center, you will also find your own profile, which you can customize. You can add yourself to the network or remove yourself from the network. If you remove yourself, you will still be visible to your existing contacts, but not to anyone else. You will also not have the opportunity to search for new contacts in the networking area if you remove yourself from the network. More details in the chapter Networking. Here you will also find the Do Not Disturb function. If you allow your browser to access your location, your time zone will be set automatically. After disabling, you can set the time zone manually. Furthermore, you will find the settings for a camera, microphone and speaker, as well as an overview list of people you do not want to be contacted by, which you have blocked accordingly in the context menu of the respective person. In your own profile, you can edit different things. In addition to your data, you can also assign different interests here using interest tags, which are later used to get recommendations on other relevant contacts and people within ITB Berlin now. More about this in the networking chapter. You can also add your social media profiles. On the left side of the platform is the navigation area. Here you will find all the important contents of the platform. You can see which area you are currently in by the orange marking. Clicking on the ITB globe will always take you back to the home page of the platform. Use the integrated full text search to search for exhibitors, sessions, products, or exhibitor presentations and press conferences for example, ITB Berlin Now. From the navigation area, you can access all contents of the platform and go directly to your target. My ITB is your personal place where you can find your personal schedule, as well as all your favorite elements, such as program sessions from the convention or brand cards from interesting exhibitors. It is your very own and individual area of ITB Berlin now. You can get to My ITB via the navigation bar, or you can use the switch function. In the individual sections, up next, My Schedule, Speaker, 
as well as exhibitors, you will find respectively which dates and which events are coming up for you, as well as which speaker and which exhibitor have been assigned a favorite by you. Under Up Next, you will find your appointments that you have generated yourself or that you have accepted. And in the My Schedule section, you will see a vertical timeline sorted by the type of event you have added to your favorites. From the Up Next and My Schedule sections, you can also go directly to the overview list of all dates and events in your schedule. In the Speaker and Exhibitor sections, you have the option of viewing all those you have added to your favorites in a list view, including the corresponding interaction buttons. If you want to switch from My ITB to a session or program, you will land directly on the Program Details page. The Back button on the top left will always take you to the last selected or viewed item on the platform. Home is the exit for your digital participation and bundles all important information for you and offers a first good overview for the following sections. Live sessions from the convention speakers, cafes, networking, and from the show floor. Home is the central place where you can find the live sessions and the speakers in different sections. From here, you can also access the different spaces of the cafes, have a starting point for networking via the visual graph, and access to the show floor. These following areas will be displayed and suggested to you in Home. Exhibitors of ITB Berlin Now will be displayed to you. You can either click directly into the brand card of the exhibitor and get there, or you can browse through the suggestions. Also from here you can go directly to the show floor via Visit Show Floor, an overview of the live sessions, cafe, and speakers. From here, you can also go directly to the networking area. The show floor is the place where exhibitors are represented with their brand card. Here, you can search for exhibiting companies in tile or list view. The search can be used to explicitly search for words. In addition to the search function, a filter helps you to precisely look for companies operating in a specific area of industry and or destination. Choose one topic and or one destination and browse through the suggestions. This function is also available in the tab Products and Trademarks. The brand cards are personalized and maintained by the exhibiting companies. In the Show Floor view, you have the familiar interaction options in addition to the logo and the exhibitor name. Those companies that give an exhibitor presentation or press conference, you will see with an on-air button on the exhibitor's respective brand card. Request Meeting At this point, you can send a meeting request to all employees added in the brand card. The exhibitor will receive a notification and can accept or decline the meeting request or change the requested meeting employee to a person that is available. Register Interest The Register Interest function is the option to express interest in a company and at the same time ask for a callback. You therefore have to give your contact details to the exhibitor, which is the first step to being connected in the network. Share the Share function allows you to share and recommend a brand card to other networkers. The recipient will receive a chat notification with a direct URL link to the brand card. Favorite Favorites allow you to save a brand card so that you can access the brand card more quickly via the Favorites view. An overview of all favorite brand cards can be found on the show floor under Show Only Favorites or under My ITB. Brand Card Detail Page If you want to delve a little deeper into the brand card information and take a closer look at a company, click on the respective brand card of the exhibitor, which takes you to the Brand Card Detail Page. 
Here, there are a few more options and functions in the upper area. The first time you interact with a brand card, an opt-in will appear to give consent to exhibitor tracking of personal data. Join showroom. Entering the public showroom is similar to joining a booth at a trade show. It is an audio-video chat room where you and anyone else who enters this booth has the opportunity to interact directly with the exhibitor's selected staff. Exhibitor staff is identified for all attendees in the attendee list. The showroom remains open even if you navigate to other areas on the ITB Berlin Now platform. You have to actively leave the showroom by clicking on the red handset. In addition to entering the showroom, you can also get an overview of which team and employees the company has in place. For each individual member, there are the familiar interaction features. On the Exhibitor Detail page, you can also see which sessions of the exhibitor are currently live and whether cafes are available. By clicking on the session or the cafe, you can go there directly. If co-exhibitors are added, they will be displayed in the list view. Via click on the co-exhibitor brand card, you will automatically be forwarded to the brand card detail page of the respective company. Furthermore, additional information such as products, trademarks, links, media, and download material can be found if these have been entered and maintained by the exhibitor. Within the networking area, the Discovery Graph offers the function to discover relevant and interesting business people. Here you have two possibilities to find and get to know people. You can find people you are already connected to, and you can also find people you are not yet connected to. In other words, you can search based on connections to existing contacts or based on matching interests. When you switch to Explore My Connections, the graph will show you the people you are already connected to. If you hover over the people inside the graph, you will see the plus sign on the circle. Behind it is the network of this person. Click on the plus sign to mark the network of the person you are connected to and click on the corresponding person to open the already described context menu for this person and to contact him or her in different ways. The other possibility is to find new contacts based on your interests. This function is only possible if you have activated the networking function in the communication center. After you have already made the settings for your interests in your profile within the communication center, people with whom you share interests will be suggested to you in networking when you switch to Find New People, the so-called matchmaking. Matching interests appear in bold print in the context menu of a person. You have the additional option to remove a person from the suggestions. Furthermore, you can differentiate whether only exhibitors or only participants of ITB Berlin Now or both are displayed in the graph. Also, the number of proposals can be increased. With Reset Graph, you can reset your selections. Load More Connections shows you random new contacts within your selection. The schedule gives you a simple and quick overview of the entire program. In a vertical timeline, all program points are displayed according to the stage or stream, day, and time. With a click on the program point in the stream, you get to the program detail page. This is structured as follows. Above, you will see the live stream, which you can zoom in to full screen mode as well as zoom out to a picture-in-picture -picture frame. This is followed by the description of the program item, as well as an overview of all speakers involved in this program item. Next to the name of the speaker, you will again find the icons with which you can also favorite the speaker or forward it to other people in order to recommend the speaker to them. The program overview is also available in a list view, as is the show floor. In the program overview, 
you will find a centrally placed switcher in the upper part. This allows you to switch from the schedule to a speaker overview. Here again, you have a full text search where you can search for speakers, as well as the possibility to bookmark or forward the speakers again. The cafe is where you meet groups of people who share ideas on specific topics or specific brands in various meeting corners. The cafe can be open to the public or have restricted access. In this case, entry must be requested. This means that an exhibitor hosting a private cafe can require visitors to request access and then decide in the back office whether to let the visitor into this private cafe or not. How this works is explained in the back office chapter. When you enter a cafe, you first have a group chat in which you can not only chat with the participants of the cafe, but also communicate with them via the context menu of each individual. The cafes are open 24 hours a day from the 9th to the 12th of March. When you enter a meeting corner, you have the possibility to communicate with all participants who are also present in this meeting corner. In this meeting corner, you can add other participants. They will then receive a call when added, and when accepted, they can join the meeting corner. In a meeting corner, it is then possible to communicate with each other using the usual functions for controlling the meeting corner. Leaving the meeting corner does not have the consequence that the conversation is left. This means, for example, that when viewing further content on ITB Berlin now, such as the program, the meeting corner you are in will remain open. This means that the audio-video function works like a session and remains active as a picture-in-picture -picture until you actively close it by clicking on the red handset. On the Partners and Sponsors page, you will find the brand card in tile format of all partners and sponsors in alphabetical order. Clicking on the brand card tile will automatically take you to the brand card details page. The goodie bag option gives exhibitors the possibility to display interesting goodies or bonuses or vouchers and deals. Similar to the cafe, they appear as tiles with a background and display text that can be individually designed. Press. The Press and Media site is a media center for journalists and bloggers. Here you can find background information, news content for your articles, and you can exchange ideas with other journalists. The tiles with press releases, newsroom and social media, photos and videos will take you to the relevant subpage of ITB Berlin. Use the materials to shape your report of ITB Berlin now. The press events tile will take you to the press calendar of ITB Berlin now, where you will find all press conferences taking place, provided they have been entered by the respective organizer. The entries will be updated continuously, so make sure to check the press calendar regularly. You can also see the latest news of the travel and tourism industry in the news ticker. Press Café will show you all available cafés of our exhibitor. This is where bloggers and media representatives come together and get in contact with exhibitors. Expand your network and get in touch with new discussion partners in different cafés. We have listed our media partners so their contacts are right at hand for you. Via the centrally placed switcher, you can directly access the section Magazine, where all ITB Berlin Now dailies are placed. Make sure to read the ITB Berlin Now dailies for comprehensive industry news. A service and support health center is offered as part of ITB Berlin Now's customer service. This can be accessed by all registered users via the navigation bar on the platform and by all registered and non-registered users via this link. 
On the support page, you have the option to select various topics in the categories sorted by each target group, as well as to search for keywords in the full text search. In addition to the general information, FAQs and tutorials, you will also find helpful information to make your participation a success. Now we will show you how to find the right answer to your question. Click on the desired information category and select Further Topic Bundles of this information category on the left menu page. This allows for quick and precise support on specific questions. If your question was not answered here, please click on the orange question mark in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. This can be found on the support page as well as on the platform itself. After this, a text field appears in which all information can be searched for with keywords, just as in the full text search. If the required information is not found, you can leave a message for the support team with a summary of the problem, a description, and, if desired, an attachment. The support request will then be processed by our support team as soon as possible.